Hello everybody, welcome to this Aquarian Living Reading. So I felt called to hear from Jupiter today. Um, I have a Jupiter retrograde in my own natal astrological chart. And there's a third of us on the planet who have this type of a retrograde. If you're curious about if you have that type of retrograde, I will leave the directions below in the YouTube description about how you can pull up a free chart through astro.com um, to see if you have a retrograde because this reading will particularly apply to those of us who do have a retrograde Jupiter. And most astrologers kind of view retrogrades as challenging and kind of, uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a negative interpretation that they have. And from the beginning that I started working with astrological charts, of course I started with my own. And um, by applying the Sabian symbols to them as well, it just helped me to understand how these are actually energies of mastery that we hold within us. A retrograde is a time when the planet appears to be going backwards, but actually it's just that the Earth is so close to it or the closest it is uh, during its cycle and it's really that earth is speeding by and it looks like the planet beside it is going backwards. It's really an optical illusion but astrologers have noted it as something happening in the heavens and because that planet is close to earth I view that we have this mastery within us but it really does take us about our entire lifetime to embrace our retrograde energy. And nearly every chart that I look at has retrogrades. So um, as always, feel free to contact me if you want an astrological overview of your chart. I get into all of your symbology. A lot of these readings are an hour and a half to two hours long. and. Um, we just really dig deep into your specific Sabian symbology, which always tells a story. It's fascinating. But in any case, just follow those directions below if you want to see if you have a Jupiter retrograde in your chart. Um, what that means and its placement and everything is something that an astrologer needs to look at for you. But, you know, I just ask you to question if you really believe that that's challenging energy or might it be challenging in that you're being called to embrace a new way of thinking or feeling or communicating um, with the help of that planet. Um, it's what makes you unique. The more retrogrades in a chart, I definitely know that that person is here to usher in new ways of thinking, new ways of behaving, new concepts. Um, yeah, it, it, they're here to usher something new in. But it will, retrogrades largely go against the common beliefs, the patterns that we see play out in our world. So that's why for me as an astrologer, the things that I pay attention to are the retrogrades in your chart. I pay attention to oppositions in your chart. I think those are your superpowers. And I am a particular lover of Chiron, known as the wounded healer, but I see it as the magic key to your ultimate freedom and your greatest gift in this world. So <clears throat> just I'm saying all this because I'm setting us up to really what is going to be the challenge for you over the next four months towards transformation? You are being given an opportunity to transform at perhaps the deepest level possible by using this Jupiter retrograde in Scorpio. So what I'm focused on is the Sabian symbol that took place or was enacted on March 9th when Jupiter went retrograde. And it will be there through about July 10th or so. <clears throat> Um, so it's Scorpio 24 is our symbol. After having heard an inspired individual deliver his Sermon on the Mount, crowds are returning home. 
And truly, this is about a challenge to you to transform based on something that you're going to learn within yourself. Because retrograde energy is always about turning inward for our guidance rather than looking outward for it. Because, I'm sorry, in Aquarian living, we ain't got nothing, folks. We have to look within ourselves towards that wisdom that knowing that we have gathered over so many lifetimes and decided to pack it all up and come on in here at the start of the age of Aquarius for the next 2100 years. So I'm trying as a messenger to give us all some guideposts, some breadcrumbs so that we can keep putting one foot in front of another because it will you know, definitely get chaotic and we may not always know where we're headed. But just really trust in where your gut is leading you. And I think that Jupiter Retrograde has a message for us in that regard. And I did pull um, a card to try to figure out, okay, Jupiter, what do you want us to know? And it, or what is this reading about? And it's this night of fire. Um, and it's why I put in my uh, description. It's about this passionate, adventurous, but yet self-assured and restless. Can you feel like self-assured? Okay, I got this covered. I know what I'm doing, but restless. I want to get to it. The thing about um, the Knight of Fire is that he just sort of rolls in. He just gallops into the situation and sometimes acts before he's really thought it all through. But this is the kind of energy that's being called for with Jupiter. Jupiter is the planet of expansion. It is about you coming into a, a greater level of abundance in all ways for yourself. And it's going to come through some self-inquiry over the next four months. And I always, I just highly encourage people to embrace this time this time of retrograde we also um, next week we'll be going into a mercury retrograde so that is a time to like slow the two-way communication down and really to reassess within ourselves if even our communication mode is working um, i also looked at the sabian symbol for the end of the jupiter retrograde and it was uh, Jupiter for, or sorry, uh, Scorpio 14, which is telephone linemen creating new connections. And so by the end of this, we will have made some new connections. And I just need to say that, you know, when you're talking about the cosmos here, it's that Jupiter is working with you. And so invite that, you know, planet of gas it's it's so gaseous it doesn't even have a form invite that energy of inspiration and expansion to work with you so that new connections can be made because these are also new energetic uh, connections within the sphere of your energy which includes all, you know, spiritual, emotional, mental, and physical layers to it. So inviting in the planet is helpful too. And I, I do feel like we will be looking at things perhaps a little differently and definitely with more fire, um, more gusto behind our approach. Okay, so let's get to the cards. Um, this, the messages I feel are kind of giving us an idea of the, cha our challenge to transform, to embrace more of this really fired up, passionate energy. And like, I don't want to wait around anymore. I just want to get going. It's like, we're done with stagnation. Okay. All right. So got a lot of things in my hands here. So the first card up is from a deck we have not used in a long time. This is the Life Purpose deck by Doreen Virtue. And you have the card Options. Okay, and this says, Consider the career p possibilities that are open to you. Notice how I just stuttered on that p possibilities. Okay, 
So you're feeling uh, perhaps a little <laughs> uh, maybe scared, maybe tentative, but the lapis lazuli that I have came forward for you. This is part of my air team. And in particular, this, this is known to me as the magic carpet. And this is the part of the message that this crystal has for this card. Connect with other portals of energy. This is where I want you to embrace and I want you to actually invite Jupiter to partner with you over these next four months so that you can really embrace whatever options do open up. Archangel Michael is part of this. He is the great protector. So no matter what option you choose, you will be protected and you will be guided. You're highly protected as you soar and select your wishes. Define your desire and get up higher. This is the magic carpet is about you need to get out of the weeds and like I do actually feel like this is concerned with whatever you do to make money, even if it if it's your regular work or your a side job that you may have, or perhaps it's a spouse too. But I do feel like you're directly involved. And the thing about the magic carpet that um, that I I'm getting here is that. When we're considering our options, we immediately get in the weeds of, of sorting out the pros and the cons and if, like, oh my God, that's going to be so stressful and this is what's going to happen and I can't possibly do that because and I'm never going to be able to get there at that time of day and da 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 da. And a lot of times we're making that decision based on the current maybe people who are in those positions and we watch them and what happens with them or we just think with a certain title or job type of job or field uh, of whatever you do for work we associate meaning with that and it's very broad in general and it's basically just our perspective of how we're currently seeing it but then the thing is Keep in mind, the, this Jupiter retrograde, actual energy connections, new connections, are going to be made in your energy field. And so always, even if that were not the case, but it's even more powerful because it's the case, you're bringing yourself into whatever this new job, change of job, whatever, new scenario you're bringing yourself to that. So your energy is mixing with that position or that field or what have you. You're one of a kind. You're bringing your very unique, one of a kind fingerprint to this certain job or field or whatever. You're bringing yourself to that. So you are not going to duplicate whatever it is that you're seeing is happening with another person perhaps in that position or that everybody else goes into this kind of a, this type of work and this is what happens to them. You, you are unique and that is what I feel is the fire that wants to be tended to over these next four months is please allow yourself to see that your energy and the output from it when it is combined with perhaps a new option in terms of career or whatever you do to make money, understand that you are not going to duplicate anybody else. You are an individual and you need to feel self-assured and passionate in being led to whatever it is that you're interested in whatever it is that is lighting your heart up. And it could also be staying in a position, but maybe you start doing different types of work. Whatever it is, something is getting mixed up here. Something is in a good way. Something's getting like the ingredients are being reshuffled and you're coming out with a completely new option. And, and I want you to see that as exciting, not scary. That's what Jupiter retrograde. This is a good time 
to really be in that energy of cooking up that new creation. And this um, magic carpet energy is just saying, you know, get up and out of the weeds of already proclaiming how you think this is going to play out because your energy is unique and it will be something different than whatever you're seeing or what you traditionally have thought about whatever that job is or that type of work is okay give yourself more space get up higher and see that you are bringing a certain fire and passion to this that has been missing for a long time is what I'm getting you know, you, you have the stuff to make it happen, and you really do with the Archangel Michael energy that I'm feeling. Um, he is the protector of all the Archangels, um, incredibly strong, and really can help to guide you to what feels right. But it's kind of like your gut is just going to lead you towards something that feels like, I need to go in this direction, I need to do this. It just feels like it's my time. There's a real stepping up, too, with this fire energy for this reading. Remember, Jupiter is about expansion. And Jupiter in retrograde is going to offer you this ability to discover this inspiration within you that's ready to come up and out. But sometimes we need to grow and expand, even within our careers, whatever we're doing to make money, in order to feel that more tangibly in our lives. Okay. Okay. Get myself organized here. So the second card is this uh, Soul Coaching Deck by Denise Lynn. I'm hoping this, I think this is the second card. Yes, it is. Okay, you have leadership. Okay, I always feel Kuan Yin energy from this because of this hot pink color. I always feel that. It says, I am a beacon of radiance, support, and love. And your crystal is my charging station. That's how I know it. It's my piece of amethyst. And when I put this down on the railing here, I was noticing that since I've had this, there are these sort of... I'm not a crystal expert, but there's sort of these new little veins that have grown in it. Um, it's just like new dimensionality. And they kind of looked like little hairs to me. I, I'm not going to hold it up because it will be too hard to see. But it's like there's little, it's like new growth is all I'm, I'm really getting here. And the message from the charging station in particular is really simple rewiring work and I mentioned that in the intro that will be the Sabian symbol for the end of the Jupiter retrograde which is about telephone linemen um, installing new connections that's the literal energy work that Jupiter retrograde is going to be doing with us for the next four months so I want you to pay attention to where in your life you feel ready to exert more of your leadership style because you, my friend, are a natural born leader. You are. And you're ready. This, the Jupiter is calling you forward from your depths. Remember, this is Jupiter in Scorpio. And it is going to inspire you from the very bottom of your energy sphere. Everything that you are in this life, everything that you've been in every former lifetime, it's all there in the land of Scorpio. Because Scorpio is the auger. It goes down, 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 and I'm not coming up until I get down to the, the depth of whatever it is I'm looking for. And that's and when Jupiter is there, it's not coming up until it releases this dramatic level of expansion that you are more than ready for. It it won't let up. And you will keep being given the opportunities to step into that more fully. So where where 
Are you ready to become a leader? And to understand that these little new connections, this and this is the air from my air team. So that's about your mentality. It's about how you process and how you literally like take in your world. Um, but you need, with Jupiter retrograde, you need to turn that towards yourself over the next four months. Where can I contribute? Where can I add value? Where can I lead with the light in my hands that is natural to me? What is your natural light? What does that look like? What is your value? I mean, this is a great way to reframe making money when it, it really becomes more about where do I provide value? Even no matter what you're doing, what, in what way are you providing value in what you do? And this doesn't just have to be in career. It's anything where you really feel ready to step into your role as a leader. But it's particularly because remember, here's our symbol. After having heard an inspired individual deliver his Sermon on the Mount, crowds are returning home. This is about you being a leader in terms of inspiring other people. And it could be through your example. It could be because of things, you know, being a messenger of sorts in whatever you do. It could be for your children. It, no matter what it is, inspiration is the keynote of the day for you. But you are a leader. You are carrying the torch. You have the light quotient within you. And what the rewiring work is pointing to with the crystal is that in terms of your literal mentality of how you think about things and process and thereby how you communicate to other people, all of that is getting rewired. I'm talking literally rewired. And you don't have to ask for that to happen. It's ready to happen because you're ready to step into more of this leadership position. So this is your task over the next few months is really thinking about where do I want to be a leader? Where do I want to stand up and be heard in a way that inspires other people, maybe inspires them to find their light, to find their, you know, um, blazing torch that they're going to bring through this freaking chaotic world that we live in. Okay, but it, it, it does, as I wrote in my description, the thing about any retrograde in an astrological chart is it takes courage to embody your retrogrades. Because especially like people who have a Mercury retrograde, um, they don't process like the vast majority of humanity. And by and large, those individuals get flack for it left and right. So it really takes courage for those of you who have a Jupiter retrograde. It takes courage because you got to look from within to be able to be expanded. You can't look to your external world and you can't expect anybody else to point out what you need to do. You have to look within you for that treasure chest. And right now, this is saying it's about the leadership. It's about stepping forward and particularly around inspiring other people and trusting that you're getting the rewiring work that you need to continue to offer something incredibly unique um, that brings forward more and more of your own light to inspire people to do the same with themselves. Okay? All right. Shifting cards around here. Okay. Our last card is from the way of the horse deck. And I did look this up because I love reading the description. So this is bonfire. This goes so beautifully with that night of fire that I talked about in the intro. Notice the 33. 33 is known as the cosmic parent. In the tarot, it relates to all of the um, queens in each of the four suits. So it is this sense of a humanitarianism, that's Aquarian age living. It's about looking out for other people. It's about being nurturing for self and others. Um, and it's about 
knowing that you play a role in, in making that nurturing and support available that you you're part of it it's not just a receiving and it's not just a giving it's both that's being a true cosmic parent is being able to also receive so the bonfire energy this is I'm going to read to you because I love her descriptions and I've uh, learned through dowsing that the gift is the message for us today not the challenge the themes are sudden shift clearing and releasing Fuel for transformation. A rearing horse demands attention, drawing power from his blazing herd. The gift is whether by choice or circumstance. Tremendous energy is available to burn through any blocks to a wider view. There we go. So remember, we're talking Jupiter here, and we're talking gas, expansion, I mean, explosion in some cases. And this card directly relates to that gas and sort of firepower. The night of fire that I mentioned is so important for this reading. And your crystal is the Labradorite, which is known to me as the revealer or the definer. So it depends on the message. I love this. You see, it's kind of like fish scales. It's, it's reflex. So the message specific to you is when you're ready to own your voice and redefine who you are. That, that's the time that we are in. It is this fiery, potent energy that I feel for you that is the embodiment of Jupiter. And be aware that sometimes Jupiter is a little much. And over these next four months, you might get so perturbed inside that you're going to need some release. And release can be in the form of exercise, for sure, dancing, um, writing, any kind of artistic expression, having sex. It, it, anything that allows a physical release of some sort or a creative release, being able to get things out. Um, and writing can be a wonderful way, just doing automatic writing, whatever wants to come, because I'm feeling like there's this sort of clog in the system. And because I'm feeling upward momentum energy, but like there's this clog and it's like you just need to get something out and it might take some firepower. We're talking bonfire here. This is a really powerful horse card. Hasn't come up for me in very many readings. Um, and this is, again, the cosmic parent. It's a gift to yourself, but it will be a gift to others. But this next four months, you really need to look at this as a gift for yourself because something is getting clogged from allowing you to have this sort of transformative experience and in particular this being ready to find your own voice and then own it and whether by choice or circumstance tremendous energy is available to burn through any blocks to a wider view so it's that you've kept yourself so contained that that's why I'm feeling this volatility and I'm feeling it in my physical body I feel this like, ugh, there's a lot of upward momentum, like a rocket ship. But it's like, no, I need to stay more contained. And that is going to get blown out of the water with Jupiter retrograde. And again, all in service to inspiring. That is what our symbol is about with this Jupiter retrograde. It's about how we light each other up. And, and the very best way is through our own personal example. That is the very best way. There is no better way. So it's about allowing yourself, and this can, uh, keep in mind, this can be on any level of the energy field. So it can be spiritual, clogging, emotional, mental, or physical. Now the Labradorite is part of my water team. So that kind of tells me that I feel it's in, in the emotional realm. 
but it could start understand the energy any kind of dis-ease in the body is um, start starts with uh, an emotional component um, and then it, it works it kind of just kind of screws away at the at the actual cellular structure and the energy dynamic and creates dis-ease within the body so the emotional element you're getting remember Jupiter and Scorpio you're screwing like an auger down to that place where you can have some sort of a cleansing of whatever that emotional aspect is that is clogging the system and not letting you come out to be the full voice that you are ready to be and that is particularly a voice that um, it has a wider view it, it is more inclusive, not less. It is inviting, not excluding. It's about more people coming to the table and instead of it being an invitation-only event. It's about the value of unique viewpoints all coming together to come to a solution or to do the work on a project instead of you thinking that you have all of the answers and there is no other viewpoint. You know, there's such magic that can be created when you put together varying viewpoints. And then as each interpreter reads, listens to, interprets those messages, they come to their own conclusions, which are one of a kind too. I mean, this is the crazy mixing of all, it's a great mixology that we are in with this Aquarian age. But for you, I feel like you're ready to own a, a greatly, ex greatly expanded version of your voice, your true voice. Um, the rising sign really points to a lot of what your true voice is in your astrological chart. Um, that is ready to come out in a really powerful way. And like the word uh, from the Knight of Fire card that is coming to mind for me is restless. It is tired of being put down. It is tired of being in a box and it wants to come out. So the question is, your challenge to transformation, will you let it out? Will you get rid of the clog? Will you discover what the clog is that is not allowing it out? And, and even where do you feel dis-ease within your physical body? Because that also can tell you something. Louise Hay has a wonderful book that gives all kinds of medical problems with the energy indication of where, what that relates to. And that can give you some clues too. I think it's how to heal your body or how to heal your life. How to heal your life. I think that's right. There we go, everybody. So it's going to be big. So take advantage of it. This is what I always say in astrological readings. Why do we want to push retrogrades aside like there's some kind of a defect in our chart? They're mastery! But it does take courage to embrace it. So step on up like the night of fire and go for it. You know, whatever your message may be, there is expansion waiting for you and the time has come to embrace it and to become it, to become a new level of yourself. Bye-bye for now.